If you managed to make it this far into the demo, it means you've already beat the Parade Master, which means congratulations are in order. But now we are faced with the second major enemy, called the Mad Donkey. At first, I messed around with the idea of blocking his hits to counterattack and make him groggy, which did work, but it took a bit of practice to get a hold of and that makes it impractical for a tutorial. So I took a step back to evaluate this foe for a bit. In a broad sense, the aesthetics of this title truly does resemble Bloodborne a lot. But when it comes to the combat mechanics, Lies of P is more similar to Dark Souls and Sekiro combined, in my opinion. And when we look at the design of this character, it's a very familiar archetype, which is basically a strength-based fighter wielding a greatsword, and that's when it hit me. If this game is really inspired by the Soulsborne series, then a practical way to get rid of him would be to block while approaching his rear for a backstab. And this is what happened. Quite surprising, isn't it? We only need to keep an eye on P's health, as well as the sharpness of his weapon, backing away from his foe's extensive range as needed. Now, I know this is not a flashy way of getting things done, but hey, it's not exactly cheesing our way to victory. If all we cared about is to finish the demo so the story could be understood, this should suffice. Thank you for watching.